Hello, this is Ghazi Rahman and you are watching Tech Break. So today we will be talking about the new G4 RTX 4080 graphics card from Gigabyte and we have got two variants here. We have got the Gigabyte 4080 RTX uh, OC edition and we have got the Gigabyte RTX 4080 Aero. So we will be breaking this video down into three categories. First of all, we will be talking about the design aspect of both these graphics cards. Secondly, we'll be talking about the specification, what makes this two graphics card different from each other. And finally, we'll be talking about who this graphics card is actually for. So before we continue with the video, let's have a look at the unboxing. Now that we are done with the unboxing, let's talk about the graphics card. Here we have got two models. We have got the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Gaming OC. And on this side, we have got the Aero RTX OC version, 4080 OC version. So this is two different cards. I would say two different cards in the sense that basically both of these cards performance wise is same. What's different is the look. Here we have a gaming variant. So basically this is typically for those uh, high-end RGB gaming builds. So basically you've got RGB accent on top here. You've got a very sick looking uh, metallic back plate here for protection. And it's got a nice accented design on top of it. It's got a Gigabyte logo snap in the middle of it as well. So if you're doing a horizontal build, it's gonna look perfect. Uh, the Gigabyte logo is gonna stand out. And even if you're doing a vertical build itself, the fence does have RGB, so which will lit up your uh, system and it's gonna look good with that vertical build as well. So if you're doing a, a white uh, custom aesthetic build for your to hey, put. Hey, hey, hey. And on this side we have got the Aero GeForce RTX 4080 graphics card. Now this one is centered more towards uh, aesthetic build. Like if you have a, a full on white casing and if you want to do a neat and clean build for your uh, let's say studio top or uh, your workstation, this graphics card is for you. And this also does have a nice backplate with Aero logo and the Gigabyte logo as well and does have a nice message as well creativity starts here so this graphics card is more tended towards designers it's not that you cannot play video games with it uh, this will perform like this graphics card as well while gaming but basically this is centered towards creative we tend to associate arrow with uh, creatives does not mean you can game on it but yeah that's how we are marketing it so there you go so now that we are done with the aesthetic uh, features of both this graphics card we'll be talking about its spec both of these graphics card comes with a new NVIDIA Ada Lovelace multi which ensures 
double the performance from the previous generation with the same power efficiency as before. So that means you'll be using the same amount of power from the previous generation but you'll be getting double the performance out of this graphics card. Next up we'll be talking about the AI performance for this graphics card. So basically Nvidia has uh, ensured that uh, they have doubled the per AI performance for this graphics card. They are using the new 4th generation Tensor Core for the 4080 series. So basically you'll be getting double the performance from the previous generation as well as better AI performance. So people who are using DLSS for 4K upscaling, you'll be getting more FPS at quality setting on DLSS. So that's a very good boost uh, in my point of view. So next up, we'll be talking about the RTX performance for this graphics card. So NVIDIA G4 RTX 4080 graphics card uses a new third generation of RTX core. And NVIDIA ensures that this will boost the RTX performance from its predecessor, the 3080 by two times. So basically, you'll be getting double the RTX performance than the previous generation, which we need to check out when we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of both this graphics card and a future video. And it has also ensured it has doubled the amount of CUDA cores from the previous generation. So for people who are into workstation or workload or video encoding, decoding, you will get a nice amount of boost from this graphics card as well. Apart from this, this graphics card uses dual BIOS and the WinForce 3X cooling system, which we'll be talking about in the next point. To cool this graphics card down, Gigabyte uses its trademark WinForce technology. So basically, what that means is a beefier heat sink and a beefier heat spreader. So you've got beefier heat sink pipes that directly touches the chip itself. And you've got this fin system, which is double the size than this previous generation. It's predecessors like, uh, let's say, 980s or 1080s. It's much larger. So basically, you've got more surface area for absorbing that heat. Now, absorbing the heat does not mean that the system is closed. Basically, this heat needs to be dissipated as well. And for that, Gigabyte uses its 3X alternate spinning fan technology. So basically, you've got two fans on the side which will be spinning clockwise and the fan in the center will be spinning counterclockwise. So what that does is it evenly spreads the intake, air intake within the fin system. So basically, there is no congestion, there is no air turbulence and thus the airflow is uniform and it's uh, clean. So basically, it can absorb more amount of heat from these fins and dissipate it within the system, which is then picked up by the other fans, the exhaust fans in the, your casing and pushed out of your system, thus effectively cooling your graphics card down. Plus, it's got a fan stop technology, which is good for people who are into environment and saving. So basically, when your graphics card is at, let's say, minimum load, it does not use the fan. So basically, when your graphics card, let's say, is at 20% or idle, the fan will stop itself and the graphics card will just be cooled with the ambient uh, air intake within the fan. But when you put a stress on the graphics card, let's say you're running a game or your video rendering work, the fan is going to crank up and it's going to actively start cooking cooling your graphics card down. That's a very mouthful to say. Anyway, this is the uh, WinForce cooling system in a nutshell and both of this graphics card has it. The fans on this uh, Aero series does not have RGB, but the one on the GeForce Gaming OC does have RGB. So that is something, if you're a big fan of RGB, so that is something that will help you make your decision while purchasing, whether you want to go for a Gigabyte Gaming OC version or the Aero OC version. So that was the spec for both these graphics cards. Now the question comes, uh, who is this graphics card for? Like if you are a normal ESL gamer, like uh, if you are a normal gamer who likes to play ESL titles or normal multiplayer titles like CSGO, Dota, League of Legends or Valorant, I highly doubt you are gonna go for uh, RTX 4080 because that's just overkill, right? But if you're into playing games like let's say the new Uncharted is coming out, the Spider-Man Miles Morales PC version is coming out, the other Spider-Man game uh, that just came out. So if you're into playing games like this, uh, which is like exclusive game, which looks awesome in RTX, like Cyberpunk. If you're into playing games like this, this is the card for you. So basically with the double the AI cores and CUDA cores and RTX cores, Basically, you can get the most performance out of those games and you can easily, like 
3080 if I remember correctly did suffer while playing Cyberpunk because I think it used to give somewhat around at 4K it used to give somewhat around 50 to 55 ish FPS on quality but with a 4080 you can easily lock that down to a 60 frames and you can enjoy that game to its fullest so basically if you're a 4k gamer this graphics card is for you apart from that the new engine the new uh, nvidia engine that they're using that is more optimized to a streaming as well so basically if you're a streamer because i know a lot of streamers who use a uh, pc for streaming and then they have a separate pc for uh, using a capture card and uh, they actually go live from there but with a graphics card like this i think you can uh, share the workload on a single pc so if you're a streamer this graphics card is for you as well so now let's talk about the workstation users right so basically if you're a workstation user if you're an animator or let's say you're a video editor who does uh, 2k 4k contents for you i think for 4k content i would probably suggest a 4090 uh, you can do it with a uh, 4080 as well but uh, it is gonna take a little bit time so i would suggest if you're doing 4k content go for a 4090 but if you're into using a 4080 you can do it with this one as well so as i said earlier it has more cuda cores than the previous generation 3080 it has got a newer generation of tensor core or ray tracing core so if you're an animator or yeah, if you are working with blender this graphics card will help as well if you do not have the budget to buy a 4090 i think you can work with a 4080 the work is going to be uh, a little bit trickier than while using a 4090 it might take a little bit uh, more time but it will get your work done so I think with that we have come to the end of this video. This was our first impression of the first impression and a basic overview of the GeForce RTX 4080 gaming OC and the Aero version of it, I guess. So both of these cards are similar. Uh, it differs when you look at it uh, aesthetic wise. This is a black card which will go perfect with the RGB system, uh, RGB ecosystem. And if you're using a UV system, this card is gonna look perfect. And this card, on the other hand, will look perfect with those white aesthetic builds, which are kind of simple, no RGB, uh, just the looks of it. So using a card like this on systems like that will be perfect. It's gonna look awesome in that as well. So guys, this was my impression of uh, both of these cards. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, uh, please like and subscribe. If you're watching it on Facebook, like our page so that you can stay updated on the new content coming out. Hopefully we'll be doing a build with a GeForce RTX 4080 pretty soon. I think a 4090 build is due as well. So we'll be getting to that. I think our next video will be about the comparison between a GeForce RTX 4080 and a 3080 which we'll start filming pretty soon I guess. It'll be what I think we'll uh, get to see that within next week or the week after that. Thank you very much. This is Ghazi Raman signing off. I'm going to see you on the next one.